Hi, welcome back. It's Dr. Somji. And it's Dr. Solomon. Today we're going to be talking about a really trending topic: injectable moisturizers, otherwise known as skin boosters. Let's talk about the oldest product in history. And again, look, disclaimer: okay, I speak for Sculptra kind of worldwide. But the only reason why I love this product is that I've seen over the years that nowadays I'm starting to inject patients with this first off, rather than fillers. It's gone the other way mm. because what Sculptra is, it's made of something called PLLA, so poly L lactic acid. This sits in the skin and it promotes both type one and type two collagen. It's made of the same material that surgical sutures are made of. So the dissolvable stitches that you have when you have surgery. It promotes volume if you inject deeper in the fat. So if you wanna restore the volume in, the, in areas, particularly like the temporal region to help lift the brow for instance, as well as this sub cheek area as well. But injected in the skin at the lower levels, it promotes collagen and skin tightness. So it's like an injectable thing that will actually do nearly everything. And it lasts really long, so you're seeing results for even up to two years after the treatment. So if I get a patient in and they're like 40, I say you need about four vials of Sculptra because it's one per decade. And that gets you up to a level really nicely. And then you can finish with things like Profilo, maybe a little bit of dermal filler in the lips or underneath the eyes, for instance, because those are like areas that you can't inject Sculptra. But this is something that's an investment in the face. And if injected by an expert injector, um, you can get nice, safe, reliable results over time. You this will, get... will prevent you having puffy face syndrome. Yeah. yeah, so we've talked about like possible treatments that maybe Courtney Cox has had. If she went down the sculpture route, she would not have had this sort of puffy look because you don't get it with this because it doesn't attract water. Yeah. So you have a, a skin booster range and you have the skin, boost, a skin booster range that just draws water in and you have a skin booster range that will stimulate collagen. There are many types of collagen which we'll talk about yeah. in um, other videos, um, but this tends to stimulate the type of more stable collagen that brings in volume. It stimulates You're volume. You're basically producing yourself. Yeah. So like you have and we'll show you these slides, like histological slides, looking at Sculptra when it's first injected, and then looking at that same slide like two, two years later. You don't see the product. Yeah. It's now organized collagen, which is yeah. fantastic. This is regenerative medicine, which is I what we all should be doing. Yeah, and what we like to do as well is combine it with other collagen stimulating, non-injectable collagen stimulators, such as the energy devices that we use, the radio frequency devices, the lasers. So you can get the sort of added benefit of collagen stimulation from that and the injectable collagen stimulators. And of course, you know, as a foundational um, basis for skincare using topicals. So, yeah, the, layered the key, approach. Absolutely, a layered approach. And to get the best results, you do have to combine therapies. And of course, you've just lifted uh, another one. If it's new to you, and I'm imagining it is, then loads of questions are going to be firing in on our comments. If you want any other specific videos about these uh, treatments, then, then just let us know. Don't forget to hit like and also subscribe because we're always uploading new content. We've also got immediate content on our Instagram channels as well that you can follow too. Take care. Take care, see you soon.